Hey guys, welcome to DevOps School. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about Rancha. But before we begin, let me inform you a few things about us. DevOps School is one of the leading platform which offers DevOps, Cloud and Containers technology training and certification programs for freshers and established professionals who wish to update and consolidate their skills in the dynamic IT scenario. We ensure that the training solutions are delivered by highly experienced domain experts with practical working experience in various verticals. Check out the dates and enroll with us for our upcoming batches. For more info, link and contact details are mentioned in the description below. Yes, so today we are going to focus on how to deploy okay rancher into into kubernetes cluster kubernetes cluster yesterday we discussed all these things and then uh, we deploy the kubernetes and today we are going to deploy ranchers into it so now i will follow my one of my notes document so i'll share that with you as well and that's called rancher this is the one now this document let me let me tell you here don't follow any documents blindly uh, always follow some of the official documents what is the reasons for it because every month nowadays we have a some sort of new release new features which is keep popping up so yes always if it is the document is little old then you should follow the uh, the official documents if it is, let's say, recently you have uh, seen the updated document, then you can use it. So this is the some of the prerequisites, some of the steps which we have here and there. You can go through that. But right now, I will request you to follow this document. Okay, this is the up-to-date document for the latest uh, installation instructions. So this also I'll share with you in this place. Okay. Now, official documents is always best to refer, and you have a more more knowledge. But again, uh, these are the commands which and okay. First thing, I am going to understand the prerequisite which we discussed yesterday also. So I'll not uh, repeat this stuff. Directly, I'll go to how to install Rancher using Helm chart. Okay. So yesterday we discussed about you can install. Which are the ways we discussed last time? I, I cannot hear you clearly. Uh, I said, which are the way we we could uh, deploy the ranchers yesterday? Which are the way we discussed? Are you able to hear me clearly? Mm, yes, I hear now. Okay, uh, so what are the ways? So we can deploy using Vagrant. You can deploy using Helm chart. You can deploy using Docker. You can deploy using Terraform. Correct? All this thing. Yes, I got it. Yeah. So today I am deploying the Rancher. Okay, using Helm chart. That is the stuff which I am doing. Okay. So first thing, these are the steps which we have. And uh, step number one, add the Helm chart repository. Step number two, create a namespace. Step number three choose your ssl configuration so which ssl we decided yesterday we had a ssl we had a three options right so which ssl we decided yesterday mm, i don't know can you tell me yeah so remember that our slides we discussed uh, bring your own certificate that's a one options let's encrypt there is another option Chan Dancher generated certificate there were four options okay. Okay. so just go through the slides one more time and see that so here uh, we have certificates uh, let me show you uh, Day two, right? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, where I had selected, this is the rancher requirement size, ports, options. Ah, these are the deployment method, and this is a Yes. Yes. So today we will try less encrypt. 
Now let's encrypt what we have. Using let's encrypt, we get the free certificates actually. It's an online service, community based. We get a free certificate. After that, you have to install the certificate manager. Again, this is only for two scenarios. Okay. Uh, one, if you are bringing your own certificate, then you should not but and then install rancher with the helm and choose in your certificate option and then verify and then you start using it so these are the options which we will do again these commands which i am going to run i have documented here also but if you find difficulties always refer this documents okay because here we have only commands but here in these documents you have a detailed explanations also Make sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so first thing what I'm going to do, add a Helm chart repository. Okay, so now I, if I'm at your place, I will read this stuff. Right now, this is the command which I'm, I'm going to run. So first I will check, do I have Helm, Helm installed? And you see that Helm is not installed in my workstation. So what do we do in this case? So first thing, I will install the help. Now, where is the tutorial for that, installing the help? So you can check these notes. All these notes I'm putting in the, the, uh, in the notes, I'll, I'll share with you. So here you, here, you have a quick tutorials of help and you can refer it here. And out of which I just need only installation document. Okay, so these are the commands I need to run it. By the way, Helm is a website. Also, if you want the official documents, you can please go ahead and check that also. So Helm, this is the web official website. Here you have the documents and all, all this thing, you can go and check that. Helm is a Kubernetes package manager. So if you want to work with the Kubernetes, you need to work with the Helm also. Without that, deploying is very uh, you know, challenging work. So I am going to install the Helm in my workstation. So here, I'll run this command and here I see the wget is not there. So yum install wget hyphen y. And I think I have to use a sudo also because uh, installation activity. Done. Okay. So now I am going to download this package. And after that, I'm going to untar it. After that, I'm going to get into the Linux AMD 64. After that, I'm going to check the path of it and path I see the user local bin. I'm going to add Helm package uh, to the user local bin. For that, I need a sudo. And then finally, I'm going to check whether the uh, Helm is installed or not. And you see that Helm is installed. So yes, in order to, in order to install the Helm, I run these commands. Again, all these notes I'm going to share with you and uh, you can see that here so are you comfortable so far with the helm part yes i i know that but i never use no we should use it okay now after installing helm now i am going to run this command what exactly it will it will do so you know that if you want to install rancher ranchers comes from the helm packages and Helm packages come from the Helm registries, repository, sorry. So this is the repository where the Helm packages are there. So what I'm going to do, Helm repo, which, which repository, this repository, add it with the name called Rancher Latest. So I just run this command, copy and paste it. So clear the screen and done. Okay, after that, you have to create a namespace for Rancher. Let me tell you, Rancher is running in a container of, and container is inside a pod of Kubernetes. So for that, it's a good idea to create a dedicated namespace. Now this namespace can be anything, but just I'm following the blind lead. Here I'm creating a namespace uh, in Kubernetes cluster, and that is called cattle. By the way, there were a few namespace already. You have it, and you see that these are the namespace default. It's a new cluster. I have not done anything. I have. I'm using this cluster fresh only for rancher installation. So here I am going to create a namespace, and now I have namespace created. Okay, cattle system. 
after that i am going to choose the ssl configuration we have decided already i am going to use less encrypt now less encrypt basically provides the free certificate but if you want to generate a certificate using rancher you can also use the cert manager or you can also bring your own certificate let me tell you here if you go for this option and this option you have to install cert manager you need to install cert manager now the question is how do we install the cert manager and for that this step you have to look look for it and the same thing which i was discussing in here also so you need a prerequisite one of the cert manager out of one out of three you need a one okay so i am going to this i have decided less encrypt is a cert i'm going to use it again for that what are the options you have this is the ingress chart options which we have for the helm and require cert manager yes for this required cert manager yes but if you bring your own certificate you don't need a cert manager okay so if you have a certificate you don't need the cert manager but i have decided i'll go with the less encrypt so i am going to install the cert manager the question is how do we install this so here i will click to expand and here you have all the instruction for the cert manager okay so now if you know the uh, if you know uh, the kubernetes then you can probably understand these commands easily here you are installing the cert manager apps you are adding helm repos updating the repos and this command will install the cert manager applications basically it's a deployment for the pod okay for the cert manager we'll be deploying the kubernetes are you comfortable with these commands can i run yeah okay so I'm running this cert manager now. Enter. Here is me. Enter. Enter. And here. And update. And then this is the command. Okay. I'm going to run cert manager. It will take few seconds. Just hold on for a second. I think I need to uh, learn him also because I just put time see that. Yes, uh, this rancher is basically for managing the Kubernetes clusters. So you need to be pro in a, a Kubernetes and uh, without a helm, Kubernetes knowledge is not complete. All this thing you have to learn. So if I start with him, I first time I think I need to click a document him also, right? Because I just uh, install manual on my virtual machine. Yeah. Okay. So it's got it deployed. That manager got deployed. If you want to see that. QCDL get ports hyphen hyphen all namespaces just for verifications and you must be having cert manager which is you see that these are the ports can you see that along with that you can access our other tutorials such as docker ansible jenkins terraform splunk aws azure and various other devops related premium tutorials with our channel membership if you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. To get our channel membership, click on to the join button, select the 399 plan and grow your skills immensely. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, if you would like to access the remaining videos of this playlist or 50 plus more tools which are coming under DevOps, DevSecOps, SRE, DataOps, GitOps, ETC, kindly become our channel members by clicking on the joining button. You would have access to 100s of playlists and 1000s of videos lifetime access with this membership. Enjoy!